So how long has it been? We got, uh, we started like eight o'clock earlier tonight, so that was three hours, and then we played the game for about four or five hours last night. Um, and I felt like within the first two and a half, I had a pretty good understanding of what the hell was going on in Grand Blue, so we can at least make some comprehensive observations about the game. So in terms of mechanics, uh, the game is simple. With, they, they said that they were going for a Street Fighter 2 style game, and it definitely feels that way. Um, it feels kind of like Street Fighter 5 in many ways. But uh, I think there's a bit more combo variety in Street Fighter 5. This game does not have a lot of combos, and that doesn't mean that's bad. Because it does have some other fun tools. Uh, the dodge forward and the, uh, the spot dodge are both very fun. I like the overhead. It's not like a universal, you land an overhead, you get a combo. If you land a counter hit, like someone's trying to press a button against you, and the overhead hits, you get you get a natural combo situation from that. Which is cool. Uh, the mobility is still very slow. And I don't mind it being a footsie game, and I'm, I'm actually enjoying it. It's just that the characters already are kind of like limited in what they can do. But... It would be nice if things were just a bit faster. Like, it really... it. It's funny, like, we're in the new modern age of slow, grounded, n grounded, neutral, heavy, footsie fighting games. With Mortal Kombat 11, Street Fighter 5, this, and even Tekken 7 sort of, like, trying to jump in on all of the, all of the grounded, neutral, footsie action. And I personally, li I personally like Tekken 7 the most of all of them. I think T7 is the most fun footsie fighting game I've ever played. Like I really I, the games for the games that focus on footsies, I love that shit. We'll see how it we'll see how it turns out. I think more characters are gonna be better since the characters are limited. It'd be nice if there was more characters to sort of mess around with, and a little bit the only two characters I messed around with were Lancelot and Graham. So I thought that I thought Lance was actually super cool. He's a diff he's probably the most difficult character to play in the beta right now because he's lower damage and he is Probably got the shortest range of anybody, but he's a mix-up monster, and he reminds me a lot of Leo, and he reminds me a lot of Kai. Probably like 75% Leo, 25% Kai. So that, that's fun. I actually dig. Uh, Lancelot was very tough at the start. I was like, this character sucks, but I, I stuck with it, and I kind of really... He's my favorite character in the game. Um, but uh, you gotta be really... The, the thing that they're carrying over from Dragon Ball, that is like the one similarity to Dragon Ball, is how combos work. And this game doesn't... There is some links. Like, there... Is, I was able to link Graham's crouching light kick, like, three times in a row. And that was an actual, like, Street Fighter Link-style combo. Um, so I'm thinking more of that stuff is going to exist. It's just that we're gonna need a training mode to find it. But right now, the core structure of the game is based on... Chain combos. Mash square. Mash triangle. Mash circle, which are light, medium, and heavy. You mash it three times and you get a basic three-hit combo. And there's not a lot of combo extensions from mid-screen. So, most characters just do button, 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 into special, into setup. So, you try to set up the opponent for uh, an incoming mix-up, going high or low, or a grab, stuff like that. And then if you get the corner, you can usually do an EX move that leads to a wall bounce and then get another few hits. Uh, some characters can use multiple EXs that lead into multiple stuff, and that ends up being okay. Like. Not, there's not going to be a lot of variety there, but it's about it's about setup. It's really similar to Street Fighter V. It's about knocking the opponent down, getting good frame advantage, getting a meaty attack in there, and then setting them up. Now, the special moves are all based on a cooldown timer similar to Rising Thunder, and apparently similar to the mobile version of Grand Blue. And I don't mind it, because there is an easy way to do it on the R1 button, but if you manually do the moves, the moves recover a lot faster. Especially the, the regular supers, like, I think I can keep throwing out projectiles in general if I do the regular projectile. But if I do an EX projectile, that has a solid, like, four or five seconds of recovery on it if I do the manual one. So I highly encourage if you're starting the game, you can start it off by just doing the specials on R1 and messing around and just getting whatever you want whenever it comes out. But over time, if you actually want to get, like, better at the game, it, it's really important to have your special moves available as quickly as possible. 
And sometimes, yeah, if you do the EX one, that has the most recovery, and it has the most damage. So it takes a bit of time to, to come back. I'll find myself like, oh, I want to set up again. Oh god, I have no special moves. They're all gone. Uh, the supers are incredibly good. Some of them invincible. Some of them safe on block, some of them not. And they do crazy damage, like Mortal Kombat 11 levels of like 30 to 35% damage on some on some characters, and they're cinematic and crazy. And they're easy, like, super is just fireball forward R1. Um, and I wasn't sure if there was a difference between doing the double fireball motion or the half circle forward, because one is fireball forward R1, one is half circle forward R1. And then there's another motion for double fireball forward, I think it was square, and double fireball forward with X. I'm not sure if there was a, a reason to, to do the manual version. And I'm wondering if the manual version allows you to recover your special moves faster, because after doing a super, you lose all of your special moves. Like, they have to, they have to come back a lot quicker. Um, so I don't know if there's a... Maybe the cooldown is a little bit less. Uh, but overall, the characters seem fun. It's not a super hype fighting game. It's not like a crazy, exciting, like, in-your-face action. Visually, it's, like, next level. Arc System Works has proven once again that they're just getting better and better at this kind of style, and the game is just friggin' gorgeous. Uh, the supers are a big amount of splendor, but it is a much more, much more safe, much more focused, grounded level fighting game uh, that is a bit more akin to a bit of an anime version of Street Fighter. A bit of an anime or more, more anime version of Street Fighter. I don't mind that. I, I think that, I think it's okay. It's not going to be, like I said, super exciting, but it's good. Uh, and I was having fun, and every time the beta has essentially gone down, I've been like, oh man, I kind of want to play more, and I want to learn more. Uh, the unfortunate ones are... The unfortunate things are that the online for this game is typical Arc System Works bullshit. Lobby System is having the same issues that we've been running into from Guilty Gear, if not before Guilty Gear. Where you go up to little arcade machines and then it sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. This has been their structure for almost a decade. And it's having the same problems. Um, there was a ranked matchmaking that was somewhat functional, which is good. And I'm hoping that is going to work out well, but it was limited in, avail in availability during the beta test. So you had to play at the, like, the arcade machines. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of people are going to be playing this game on those lobby rooms where... You jump into, like, Los Angeles or West Coast USA, uh, certain parts of Europe, East Coast USA, you know, whatnot, so that you can play people that are close to you. And that's essentially how Arc System Works masks the fact that their games have bad netcode. In Japan, they're amazing, because Japan's the size of California. But, when it comes to matching people up, they want you to be close to each other, because the further you get, the worse it gets, like, hard. Um, the average connection I was playing with people, because people that I was playing with were from all over the world, from a wide variety of places. And if you had a good connection and it was far away, it was like five to seven frames input delay. And that doesn't, it doesn't seem bad, but until you play someone that's at like a one or a two, and you're like, oh, this game is, the game feels really slow, like really slow when you have a bit of input delay caked into it. Really damn slow. I will say it is, there doesn't seem to be many improvements on the typical Arc System Works net play aspects. Um, it is kind of the same thing. It'll run great in Japan, but elsewhere, if you want to play someone that isn't within the same region of where you live, it's going to be a little rough. You're going to be you're going to be dealing with some chunkiness, and we have definitely been dealing with some chunkiness. We've also had some great connections if people are if people are close. I've also had people that it was like I think I played a guy that was in like Greece or something like that, and it ran okay. It was like a solid six frames. So that's not bad. I think I think that's that's like that's good. The problem is that that's like it's still a very much compromised online experience. So for what they're for what they're testing with this beta, because I don't know what they're exactly beta testing, um, because the lobby is essentially the same thing as what Dragon Ball was. It's the same thing as what Guilty Gear and like Blaze Blue and Blaze Blue Cross Tag. It's like the same thing. I don't know exactly what they're beta testing, but hopefully they'll make things better. Hopefully. When you're going into arcade machines and using its lobby features, people will actually... It'll actually function more and not get hung up because you spend a lot of time looking at menus and waiting for shit to happen. A lot of time. I just want to get in and play people. So I would say uh, that's, that's one of my biggest hopes. Let's hope the online gets fixed a bit, although I'm pretty sure it won't. Um, and let's kind of hope the game speeds up a little bit. I, I kind of want the game to be a little bit faster. 
Like maybe maybe some of the dash speeds, much less some of the some of the walk speeds to be a little bit quicker. Because um it is it's okay right now. I, I'm I enjoy it. I know I'm not absolutely in love with it, but I think it's pretty damn good. And I think a lot of people will like it, especially if you like the way like Mortal Kombat 11 plays, and you like the grounded footsie aspects of uh, Street Fighter V. Um, if you like some of those slower, more, like I said, we're in the new age of slow, methodical footsie fighting games, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. It's not, it's not too super ballistic. Um, oh yeah, grabs. Uh, grabs are uh, very shallow. They're good, but, and they do really good damage. And I know why they do good damage, because it's hard to land a grab in this game. Um, and you can neutral jump punish grabs just like MK11, just like Street Fighter V. It takes a lot of notes, but, uh... Uh, what's gonna do it for me is characters. Like, the more characters there are, the more badass-looking characters. I like the character designs in this game. I think everyone looks really damn cool. And I I just want to see more really sick-looking characters doing more interesting things. Because even the developers have said, it's kind of the bare-bones characters right now. It's sort of like the simple characters that do simple things. Um, and of, of all of them, I think Lancelot, who I end up liking the most, is probably the most technical just because you have to get a grasp of his movement and his gimmick button is all about movement and canceling his movement and going into like air dives and air dive cancels and all that stuff so I, I really I've really actually enjoyed piloting that character and sort of started getting a, a, a good feel of how to make him work um, and then you go play a character like Gran and he is just so by the numbers Ryu like by the books like Ryu Shoto Fireball Uppercut Tatsu kind of character that is just like wow okay all right so um I have some good hopes I I'm actually looking forward to it when it comes out I hope it stays I hope it stays interesting for a long time because that's kind of the thing with these these games that are sort of simplified in many ways in terms of their mechanics uh, there's some mechanics I really like that are really cool but um it is an overall simplification of Guilty Gear, an overall simplification of a lot of the crazy ballistic anime-ness that, uh, that a lot of Arc System is known for, so. I want more characters, man. I really do. I really do.